Hello everyone, uh, hi again, welcome back to my video, we have another lecture on week uh, Now it's week 6, but uh, we since we have one lecture left behind, so we are covering the lecture for week 5 today Right, so before we started, I would like to apologize to all of you uh, for we having to go through this lecture as pre-recorded session uh, since many of you, all of you know that we are now in uh, during in a uh, convocation week, and uh, we all actually have to attend the the session, but I want I don't want I don't want to uh, miss the lecture as we need more time to keep catching up later on. So uh, I that's why I have to provide you with a pre recorded session. But worries not uh, if you have any question later on, uh, you can comment on the on the video which is i will upload it to my youtube channel you can comment on the youtube section or even you can also uh, uh, ask me in the telegram groups or you can also ask your uh, tu tutorial lecturer during the tutorial session later on which is also some of you will be seeing me also in during the tutorial session all right so Without further ado, let's get to the lecture. Okay, so now it's week five. All right. Now it's week five. Uh, we would like to learn week five for the lecture. Although now it's a week six, but uh, we we'll be catching up with the lecture later on. So we have to take a look, we're going to take a look on an element of multimedia another element of multimedia which is a video i believe that most many of you or most of you will, will really like this topic because i think a video is a is a the current trend nowadays for for the for the social media most of uh, social media platform uh, because uh, yeah like uh, for Instagram, for example, you have Instagram Reels uh, that will be using video, and also uh, we have a uh, YouTube, which uh, have been offering video since ages, and the the latest one that I believe is the most trending now <coughs> is a TikTok. Also, uh, offer a video for 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 the usage of in the platform All right so let's take a look on what is video and what are the basic elements and uh, elements that you need to know uh, that have that are in the video All right so let's 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 see all right so uh, learning outcomes at, at the end of the lesson you should be able to give the, the definition of video Okay, the difference between video format, uh, container, and codec. So this is uh, what we're going to take a look at on. Alright, so you also be able to list down several features of video in multimedia and taking notes on how to publish good quality video in YouTube for your web building purposes also uh, for your later assignment. Alright, so... Let's see on the definition of the video. What is the meaning of the video? So, video uh, is referring refers to the an, an electronic medium for recording, reproducing, displaying, or broadcasting of moving visual image. These are the keyword for the video. All right. So, video basically is a comp compilation of of images, still image that uh, that that arranged side by side and pre produce result to the moving visual image all right well, videos also can be defined as record recording of moving visual images in digital or analog form so video now is nowadays have i they, they are it's very hard to find a analog form video nowadays uh, we, since may, many of video is uh, in a digital form but also we're going to take a look on what uh, kind of video that uh, is in, digit, in analog form 
So alright, most video content pictures and sounds displayed over time. Okay, because uh, video have a timeline. Uh, contrary with a uh, still image, we have single frame. So video is a combination of multiple frame, and that's why it has uh, co content pictures and sounds which display over time. All right. So like audio, video also has analog and digital form. Okay, uh, digital video become popular in 1988. Uh, so it's it has been started become popular in 1988, which is a long time ago. Okay, so nowadays I believe almost all video are in digital form. All right, to be displayed, digital video needs audio and video codec. So since uh, all of the for the digital video. They need a uh, codec to be able to be displayed to the viewer. Alright, so let's take a look on analog versus digital video devices. So, what uh, this is what we I'm talking about uh, the analog video. So back in the days, uh, analog video uh, are stored in a VHS VHS tape that that you can see here you can see my mouse pointing on the tape so this is uh, the analog video okay and also the CRT CRT is the, the format for the mon for the display TV so the also the signal or yeah the signal from the satellite uh, transfer to the TV is also in the form of analog uh, they, it has noise if, if you remember lah okay so I'm not sure if you I think you still still manage to I'm not sure but but during my childhood this is the form if you want to watch a movie uh, you, you want to buy a new movie at the shop and all you just this is the form of the the video back in the days and we have we need another playback devices to play the this tape all right so but nowadays uh, most of the video in a uh, digital form so you can either using this is also irrelevant now but but also during the my university year all the submission, all the, 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 the videos are stored in this DVD or uh, Blu-ray and also you need a device to play this okay and for the digital video you, we, we watch it using LCD and LED TV and also most of the video nowadays are using uh, cloud or, or streaming services like YouTube and Vimeo and, and so on and so on. All right. So uh, also we have a uh, different uh, type of video, which is uh, animation. And we're gonna take a look on what are different between video and animation. Okay. So video is continuous event recorded or edited. So it's a live footage lah. Or maybe not. Okay. Uh, but uh, animation is frame by frame still images make illusion of movement meaning that animation is something that you create still but frame by frame okay as for the categories uh, not all video are can be con can be categor categorized as animation but uh, animation and product are mostly or almost is can be categorized as video uh, as for the video Types are uh, more diversified. We have clip, we have vlog, we have advertising, MTV, the commentaries, and etc. But as for animation, you are limited to animation, traditional stop motion, and computer animation. Okay. So let's take a look on format. This is not format. Sorry, it's my uh, spelling uh, error. Uh, there is a format, MAT. Uh, container and codec. So what are they? 
So you always, uh, you can always see this uh, at, the, at, the, at the end of your video name in, in your computer. Let's say you have a video name and you will see dot mp4 or something like dot uh, mov dot mkv and so on and so on. So what does it mean? What does it represent? So this represents the format for the video. Okay. A video format is the container that store audio, video, subtitle, and any other metadata. Meaning that all the information of digital video will be stored in the in this container, which we call a format. So we have the most common one is a. Uh, Back in the days, we only have, not we only have, but the most common one is .mov and .avi. But I think nowadays, the most popular one is .mp4. Okay, .mp4. I will explain later why. And also we have .mov is for QuickTime or Mac, normally using .mov and .mkv. So we have another thing which, that we call codec. It's a combination of abbreviation for code, CO, uh, and decode. Compress or and decompress. Okay. Program which encode and decode the audio and video. Okay. It's like a program stored in the format. Uh, it's, it's embedded in the video. Okay. It's embedded in the video. And it has its function to 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 play and also store the video okay so uh, i'll show later on the diagram for how the codec uh, works but the popular video codec is h264 uh, and the newest newest one is h265 okay we have everyone vp9 h266 but i think it, just know the H264 because this is the most common codec that you will use later on during your video work. Okay, to play certain video format container, you need those codec. So this codec has to be installed in computer. But sometimes your computer cannot play certain video because of they are not they are no codec installed in that in your computer uh, for that specific video. Okay, so different video require different codec. So this is uh, how codec work. Okay, codec. So the codec is basically work in between the process of uh, storing and playing your video. Okay, when you you, you uh, when you try to open the video, you run a video. You just we will double click the file, right? You double click the file, and then the codec will do it work during that time. It will encode. Okay, it will encode the video. Encode the video. Uh, it has a video, audio, and also other metadata. Like metadata is uh, information that stored in the video, such as size, frame rate, uh, date of creation, set title, auto name, etc. Okay, you can see here. Okay, and once it's have been in decode. At encode, it allow the video to be able to play on your screen. Okay, on your screen. Okay, once you've done with watching the video, you might want to uh, close it back. So when it close, the, the original file size of the video is quite big. So this codec also works as a compression to to compress back the video into the file and so that the, the file size of the video can remain uh, small or, or efficient. So once you double click the video, it will decompress or decode and that allow you to watch the video and when you close the video, it will store back into the file and uh, Compress back. Okay, so that's how codec work. Okay, so the most common video format is MP4. 
uh, also known as MPEG 4.14, uh, the most common relatively small size audio. Uh, okay, so the MP4 is the most common one. The reason is because it ab its ability to store big uh, ability to store video in a, in a smaller size, so it's it's efficient for storage, but without losing much quality of the video. Uh, so that's are uh, the advantages of the MP4. So we have also MOV, uh, developed by Apple, and AVI is pretty much the the same. The file size is quite big, bigger compared to MP4, but the quality, the quality is uh, fair lah between these two, these three format. Okay. So why MP4 is po so popular? This is what I said before. The compression, okay, the compatibility. Uh, nowadays, MP4 are able to be to can be in multiple platform. It can be viewed in a Mac, Macintosh, uh, Linux, or even Windows. Windows is the most common uh, OS lah, and can be also play in computer uh, in in uh, Android, iOS and so on so on and so on so technically it's a uh, platform friendly lah. okay uh, audio also uh, supports stereo and work with most audio codecs and support abr adaptive bit rate meaning that resolution can adjust according to the internet speed which is which is good for streaming for video streaming okay okay most common video format uh this is all of other popular format such as WMV, LFV. I'm not sure you will see this in nowadays because this is kind of old video format. Uh, the the WMV uh, is a for basic format for Windows. So please avoid using that WMV because it will it will reduce your quality of your video. It's 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 terrible lah. It's terrible. Okay. So features of video file, let's see. So this is interlace, interlace versus progressive scanning. Uh, so if you remember, if you watch any video or any television or movie, uh, back in the days using the CRT monitor, the, the fat monitor, or even LCD monitor, meaning that the, the the old monitor lah. You can see if you, you record something and there is a TV at the back of the uh, at the back of the character if you if you record the video for example uh, and then the, if also we, you can see a, a screen or monitor in, the, in that video we will see something like interlace on the screen of the monitor lah. it's like much, something like line lining at the monitor but you will not see if you if you watch directly to the monitor but normally it can only you can see it when you record it in the video so this this phenomenon happened because the format for the video is interlaced okay so the most digital video nowadays using a progressive format meaning that it dis, it dis, it displays the whole image in one frame but Something like that. So because bandwidth is fast now, okay, the interlace is uh, like when it it sending a signal, it send it, it part by part, line by line. Compared to progressive, it will send the signal frame, the whole frame all together, okay. Because uh, it made possible nowadays because the bandwidth is fast now compared to. Uh, compared to before and popular display resolution it uh, the progressive also offer uh, better display resolution lah compared to the interlace right so next we have resol resolution resolution is the size frame size of the video okay frame size of the video the bigger the resolution the better the quality so we have what you Normally, when people call hash, 
called HD, it means that 1280 times 760. Okay, you can see here. Sorry. Uh, yeah. 1280 times 760 here. Alright, and then we have full HD. The full HD, the resolution is full for full HD is 1920 times 1080. Meaning that this the in pixel, eh, in pixel, this is 1920 times 1080. Horizontal 1920, vertical 1080. So we have quad HD is 2560 times 1440. And lastly, we have 4K Ultra HD. Okay. Okay, next we have frame rates. Okay, we have frame rates. Uh, frame rates uh, measure in frame per second. Uh, hertz. Meaning that uh, the when the, the video is displayed, uh, the, the time the frame will be will be played by the video the higher the frame per second is uh, the the better the better lah. okay okay for worldwide tv has two standard we have ntsc and also pal and scam okay so normally uh during my work in when I still working in industry, when we want to do something for the for the TV television purposes, we have to export it or shoot it and produce it in PAL, which is a twenty five frame per second. Okay, uh, but I think nowadays uh, since we are moving to digital TV, so I think this is a. Uh, they didn't consider much then they didn't bother much about the frame per second already okay, right so this is the area that we use NTSC scam or pal pal sorry not pal pal uh, you can have a look later on all right so apart from the res resolution we have aspect ratio aspect ratio means the 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 ratio the proportionate ratio for for horizontal versus the vertical okay so four by three four by three is normally for all monitor all tv uh, and i'm not sure i think so. This is maybe iPad or tablet. Some iPad, some ta tablet. Okay. Although uh, I believe that many of the devices nowadays has turned into 16 by 9. Okay. This is the most common one. And also we have 2 by 35 by 1. Yeah, sorry. 2.35 by 1. Okay. This is 16 by 9 not 16.9 sorry this is my the dot is left behind okay so i think this is nothing much to explain uh, okay next we have video cable okay i'm not sure you haven't seen it, this tree okay uh, but i i'm sure i'm pretty much sure that you will see this you know this okay for the first one is composite RCA, you, you can, uh, and also we have S video and the component. So this is a pretty much the for the old TV for the old decoder and all. Still, still available now. Still being used now for different purposes, but uh, most of the TV and devices uh, that I, I I can I know of. Uh, nowadays we'll we'll use the HDMI. So the old one have uh, fair and good better quality. You can see here yeah? fair good better. But also it have uh, the max resolution can only support uh, 480i. Okay, which is lower than HD. 
resolution that I, I uh, explain to you. For 480, is a 756 time 480. Okay, the HD is 1280 times 720. The resolution, yeah, the resolution. I'm talking about the resolution. Okay, so that you can you can read about the description here. So pretty much, uh, this is the best. Uh, uh, we call it quality that you can offer, uh, and also being widely used for many of the devices nowadays, lah. Okay, so all right. So uh, we have known, we have learned about the video, we have learned about all the codec and thingy. And now we're gonna have a look on tips on publishing in publishing YouTube video. Why you need to know this? Not because I want you to become YouTuber or, or so on. If you want to, it's okay also. But the thing is, you might want to upload the video to you to the streaming service such as YouTube for for the purpose of using it later for your website, for example, or even any other. Uh, multimedia purposes like uh, later maybe you want to build a, a, an application but you might want you don't want to hold the video or, or host the video in your own application or website because it make it heavier for your website to running so you might want to host it to streaming service like YouTube and then only embed into your website okay so let's see what you need to know. So first one, you can uh, it advisable to use a container or format uh, MP4. As I mentioned before, it offer uh, better quality, uh, good file size. Okay, the file size is is uh, important because it will be stream streaming later on. So the smaller the file size. Without having much, uh, we call it sacrifice on the quality. It can give better experience to the viewer, and uh, the transferring rate will be smooth. Lah. Okay, so we have also video codec, like I explained before, use H264, and then audio codec is uh, pretty much common, AAC LC, and for the audio channel, you, you just use stereo. But uh, if you're doing something that, that want to give a more depth audio to your audience, to your viewer, you can opt to the Stereo 5.1. And then we have sample, sample rate. The, the optimum sample rate, you just opt to opt for 96 kilohertz and 60 frames per second. And of course, uh, most of the screen or devices or gadget nowadays uh, will use aspect ratio 16 by 9 okay so this is audio bit rate for best youtube video quality you can watch it later but this is uh, the setting the most optimal setting yeah you should know okay all right uh yeah you might want to consider checking this uh, link uh, uh this is a tips on how to get more views on youtube for free Okay. All right. Uh, I think that's it. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions uh, later on, as I said before, during uh, as I said before, you can comment in the comment section below, and you can also us in the chat chat telegram also you can also ask your tutorial uh, lecture lecturer during the tutorial session okay i hope you enjoy my lecture i hope you understand well and i think that's it for this week and see you on another week all right thank you